you know why oil cooling doesn't work as effectively as liquid cooling does even though both have very similar mechanisms you see the very basic idea behind oil or liquid cooling is to have some sort of liquid that absorbs heat from the engine and then cool it over a larger surface area with the help of the oncoming air it is this part of heat absorption where oil cooling suffers primarily because of two reasons firstly there is the reason of a lower heat capacity heat capacity simply quantifies the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of a fluid by 1 degree celsius in this regard oils generally have a much lower heat capacity than a dedicated coolant or even water often as low as 50% secondly there is thermal conductivity unlike coolant which is very adept at absorbing heat from the engine oils generally cannot do that at the same level due to their lower thermal conductivity so in summary oils absorb lesser heat and get hotter more quickly fun fact suzuki had mastered oil cooling even for higher capacity motorcycles decades back but since higher temperatures lead to higher nox emissions and since oil cooling cannot keep the temperatures in as tight a range as liquid cooling does it had to be dropped off and is currently being used only for lower capacity motorcycles like the jxr 250